dis donc, à Sally, ça se fait pas. Hein. Je vous en prie, il y a des petits. Venez sûrement rejoindre votre culte. Je suivrai fidèlement tous vos enseignements. Il accepte. Je vous en prie, il y a des petits. Venez sûrement rejoindre votre culte. Je suivrai fidèlement tous vos enseignements. J'accepte. J'accepte. Ne bouge pas. Croyons-moi, Adepte. J'accepte. Oh, merci infiniment. Ne bouge pas. Croyons-moi, Adepte. J'accepte. Quelle chance que notre équipe est un tel sens de l'humour. Ne bouge pas. Croyons-moi, Adepte. Oh, merci infiniment. Croyons-moi, Adepte. Je suivrai fidèlement tous vos enseignements. J'accepte. Bonjour, bonjour, bon matin. Bonjour, bonjour. Comment ça va Salut Scora, ça va bien Bien dormi J'espère que vous avez passé un bon samedi. Euh, Excusez-moi. Bonjour, bonjour, installez-vous. Aujourd'hui, c'est euh, la suite de la Game Jam. On a beaucoup de taf, donc let's go. Euh... Je suis en train de euh, bosser sur le user flow. J'avais quelques changements à faire, donc du coup, là, c'est chose faite. Je vais me rapprocher encore un peu, cela. C'est pas mal. Voilà. Là, normalement, c'est bon. Euh, Qu'est-ce qu'on a dit qu'on allait faire pour ça Prendre ça. C'est pas grave, je vais taper euh, à la main puisque c'est nul. Euh, tech scaling. Pourquoi j'ai... Euh... Pas du tout. Voilà. On m'aide pas. Hello Rainbow, ça va bien Un bon appétit. Mais, mais pourquoi il m'embête Ah voilà. Contraste. Salut Altar, salut Virox, installez-vous, j'espère que vous allez bien, bon midi chez vous. Euh, on est en train de bosser euh, sur la game jam du coup. Master volume, euh, sound effects, euh, musique. Oui. 
résolution et screen. Let's go. Pourquoi c'est pas centré J'en sais rien moi. Pourquoi il m'embête Pourquoi il m'embête me saoule cette boîte, elle sert à rien. Je suis désolée, j'ai... J'ai changé euh, mon... J'ai changé mon câble HDMI et c'est toujours... Euh, c'est toujours niqué, donc je suis vraiment désolée, c'est pas, pas ouf. Ok, très bien, on va dire que ça, ça passe. Euh, c'est quoi le logiciel C'est un, un truc euh, web-based qui s'appelle euh, Draw.io. Euh, salut Nirla, tu vas bien Du coup, euh, voilà, donc je, je l'utilise pour faire mes diagrammes. Euh... Je sais pas pourquoi il m'embête à, à vouloir être absolument... Euh... carré mais c'est pas grave écoutez ça va passer voilà on va faire ça comme ça donc là normalement j'ai tout ce qu'il faut je l'ai un peu simplifié donc du start screen on peut aller au crédit on peut partir on peut aller au tutoriel on peut aller aux settings et on peut jouer ça me paraît normal ça c'est tout des screens en eux-mêmes. Dans les settings, on a Text Scaling, Colorblind, Contrast Mode, Master Volume, Sound Effect Volume, Music Volume, Résolution et Screen. Normalement, il faut que je fasse une petite exploration, voir si on a d'autres trucs à mettre là-dessus. J'ai pas encore euh, trop réfléchi. Quand on presse Play, ça nous fait sélectionner la difficulté et ensuite sélectionner le niveau. Je suis en train de me demander si on n'inverse pas là, du coup. Le niveau d'abord et après la difficulté. Que vous en pensez Est-ce qu'on sélectionne d'abord le niveau et après la difficulté ou d'abord la difficulté et après le niveau Je suis en train de me demander si c'est pas l'inverse. Et ensuite, du coup, une fois qu'on a choisi, on va en jeu et quand on est en jeu, on peut faire pause ou bien on perd. Ça, c'est les deux options. Si on fait pause, on arrive sur le pause screen et auquel cas on peut reprendre la partie, recommencer le niveau, changer la difficulté, aller au menu, euh, aller aux settings et, euh, et du coup sélectionner le niveau aussi. Niveau et difficulté. Ouais, je, je suis assez d'accord. Ça me paraissait logique hier, mais là, aujourd'hui... Euh... Là, aujourd'hui, du coup, je suis... Je suis moins sûre. On va plutôt faire ça. Settings. Alors, on va faire euh... C'est relou En vrai, je peux plutôt faire un truc comme ça aussi. Comme ça, ça nous embête pas là. Euh... Ok, alors attendez, parce que du coup, on va changer. On fait sélectionner le niveau. Sélectionner la difficulté. On 
Danke. Okay. Na, na, na. Ah. ah oui, là, il y avait quit to main menu aussi. Charou qui squatte ton lit, des bisous au chat. Ok. Et là on a un nouveau truc qui dit quoi tu menu. Ça va pas du tout cette affaire. Comme ça. Quit to menu. Je crois que c'est bon. Quand on est en pause, on peut reprendre, recommencer, changer la difficulté, sélectionner un nouveau niveau, retourner au menu principal. Ou aller aux settings, ça me paraît pas mal. Je pense qu'on n'a pas besoin d'avoir accès au tutoriel, même si je l'ai mis. Si, en fait, on va le mettre. Oh, c'est relou, le machin, il est super loin. C'est pas grave. Ça, ça m'emmerde. Hein. Bah pourquoi c'est pas droit Noah euh... Tant pis. Je vais pas mettre les détails sur ce machin. Je vais pas trop me prendre la tête non plus. Je le ferai sur mes wireframes. Ok. How to play. Bim. Tutoriel. Voilà. Settings. Ça nous fait 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. C'est nul comme chiffre. 7. Bouton. Tant pis. Euh, ok, ok. Donc je pense que là on est bon. Voilà, donc ça c'est le diagramme du... Enfin ça c'est le user flow du jeu. Ça me paraît pas trop dégueu. Ok. Euh, donc ça c'est bon. Euh... Il est où
Okay. Uh... Ouais, c'est bon. Ok, je vais poster ça sur le Discord. Euh... Ok, donc ça c'était le premier truc à faire aujourd'hui, donc ça c'est fait normalement. Est-ce que ça s'est déjà mis sur ce que je voulais Ok, ça s'est pas mis à jour encore, donc... Ok, très bien, bon, pendant que ça fait ça, euh, je vous montre où on en est. Ok, euh, alors, du coup, euh, on a un peu parlé du jeu hier, euh, donc ça c'est tout ce qu'il faut qu'on fasse, il y a beaucoup de choses à faire. Euh, donc on est parti sur un jeu où euh, on a un personnage qui euh, doit euh, escalader d'un point A à un point B pour aller livrer des colis. Voilà, et, euh, et ça va se faire en posant des pièces sur euh, le niveau et ensuite euh, en escaladant, enfin euh, en faisant escalader le personnage qui a une stamina limitée. Et donc le but c'est de disposer ces pièces correctement euh, pour que euh, la stamina ne, 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 ne soit pas complètement euh, vide avant d'arriver en haut. Donc ça c'est le principe du jeu. Moi je bosse sur le UX UI. Voilà donc là j'ai fait, vous avez vu, le diagramme. Euh... Ok c'est pas du tout à jour ce machin. Voilà, on va lui laisser un peu de temps, euh, sinon je mettrai, euh, j'irai sur Discord là, c'est pas grave. Euh, voilà, donc du coup, hier j'ai pas mal avancé, euh, j'ai fait euh, un concept de bouton euh, en forme de pierre, voilà comme ça, donc euh, j'ai fait ça et je l'ai implémenté euh, dans un wireframe de start screen. On va changer la police d'écriture là, on en a une nouvelle que je vais essayer. Euh, voilà, bon, ignorer les couleurs pour l'instant, c'est vraiment... Euh, bon, pardon. Euh, c'est vraiment euh, placeholder. Euh, J'ai commencé à faire le HUD. Euh, donc, sur le HUD, en fait, on va juste avoir euh, une partie comme ça, à gauche. Où, euh, euh, du coup... Voilà. Donc ça ressemble à ça en fait, euh, où en fait on va pouvoir choisir les pièces et les transporter sur le niveau. Euh, voilà, et une fois qu'on a fait notre, notre niveau, on va pouvoir appuyer sur le sac à dos et ça va se transformer en ça. Et ça en fait ça va être la barre de stamina qui, euh, qui va euh, euh, eh bien, se vider finalement euh, au fur et à mesure euh, du niveau. Voilà. Euh, donc ça c'est le HUD, ça reste ultra simple et c'est parfait, c'est exactement ce que je voulais. Euh, voilà, j'ai commencé à faire le pause menu, il faut que je l'update parce que j'ai oublié de mettre réessayer. Euh, donc, euh, on va faire ça. Je sais pas trop comment... 7 boutons, c'est chiant. C'est pas, euh, pas très logique, mais... Euh... On va voir. Euh, on va voir comment on fait. Euh, voilà, voilà. Donc c'est à peu près où on en est. Aujourd'hui, donc là ce matin, il faut que je... Euh, que j'update le post screen. Que je fasse un... Une wireframe du select level screen. Une wireframe du setting screens. Et potentiellement un design du dialog box. Hein, je vais peut-être pas le faire tout de suite, on verra après. Euh, voilà. Donc ça c'est le but euh, ce matin et cet après-midi je passe à l'implémentation en engine mais du coup comme j'ai vraiment beaucoup de choses à faire avant on va voir euh, on va voir comment on s'en sort. Euh... Alors 
je vous demande deux petites secondes. Ce que je vais faire, c'est que je vais repasser sur euh, ça. Le temps d'ouvrir Discord. Salut Silent, ça va Difficulty order. Um... Salut Laurine, ça va et toi Ouais peut-être il y a un là, faut que je regarde, il faut que ça soit, euh, il faut que ça soit facile au contrôleur, euh, enfin au gamepad, donc je peux pas faire un truc qui est pas en grid, sinon ça va être, euh, ça va être chiant. Je vais regarder comment, euh, comment on peut faire ça. Uh, change my mind regarding selection of on difficulty order. Um... Consolidated uh, all levels in one box for uh, easier visibility. Um, Ok, donc ça c'est bon. Ouais, ça me paraît pas mal. Ok, euh, très bien. Donc ensuite on va... Euh, on va, on va, on va... Est-ce que je les ai là que Laquelle je prends Je vais prendre celle-ci, je pense. J'aurais pu aussi... Euh, on verra celle-ci après. Ok, donc là, en fait, je change les... Euh... Je change les fonts de mes boutons. Voir si ça marche bien. Alors, attendez. Est-ce que j'ai fait les choses correctement Est-ce que si je le change sur lui, ça change pour tout J'ai pas de... Il n'y a pas de...
C'est pas ouf parce que du coup en fait là dessus j'ai pas, les... pas de tailles différentes donc euh, du coup... Après c'est vrai que c'est joli. Ok, on va faire plusieurs essais, je pense qu'on va leur montrer ça. Pas le bon. Voilà. Euh, je vais télécharger les autres avant d'envoyer ça. On a Patua et Valera aussi. Pas de font weight, ça c'est ça c'est chiant. Je sais plus me parler. Uh, they all have only 400 font weight available. So that means we don't have a lot of flexibility. Um, but this is what it looks like. Okay. Uh, Euh, non, pas forcément limité aux au fonds libres de droit en vrai, parce qu'on va pas, on met pas le jeu à la vente, donc, euh, donc en vrai on est quand même assez, euh, on peut, on peut jouer avec, euh, mais, euh, mais il faut que ça soit quand même importable dans l'engine, donc il faut qu'on reste assez simple, et surtout moi je veux que ce soit des fonds qui soient euh, euh, accessibility friendly. Du coup, donc on est quand même assez limité sur ce que sur ce qu'on peut faire. Euh, C'était quoi le nom Du coup, euh, pas tu as. Celle-ci, elle est pas sans sérif en fait. Donc du coup, c'est pas c'est pas ouf. pas ultra fan. Et euh... C'était quoi la dernière Valera.
Ok. Regardez nos assets, ils sont trop bien. Ça c'est tous nos petits blocs. Donc ça va être trop cool. Et surtout... Oh, Regardez-moi ça, le, le, le personnage principal qui, va, qui grimpe. Ça c'est un ça c'est un DNPC. Ça aussi. Et ça c'est notre perso principal. Elle est trop chou, vous trouvez pas Et euh... Et ça c'est Keith, c'est un DNPC. Voilà, donc ça c'est nos persos. Euh... Voilà, euh, très bien. Je sais pas trop comment ça va se passer quand euh, si on si on fait tech scaling, je sais pas à quoi ça va ressembler. Parce que là je suis à 52, 52 c'est gros hein, quand même. Hein. Ouais, moi aussi, je surkiffe ce, qu ce que les artistes ont fait. Vraiment, c'est trop trop bien. Ah oui, hier là, c'est passé. C'est le principe des wireframes. Du coup, mais notre logo va pas du tout être un truc comme ça. Ça va être plutôt. Euh... On part plutôt sur. Un... Potentiellement un truc comme ça, avec une échelle. On sait pas trop encore, mais. Euh... Mais voilà. Hello Adrian, how are you? Are you feeling better? Euh, ok, bah du coup, je sais pas trop. Euh... Euh, comment on fait du coup pour savoir? Parce que là, c'est vrai que c'est assez gros quand même en fait. 52, je pense que c'est. Va falloir que je me penche là-dessus. Parce que faire plus petit après ça va être un peu moche quoi, si on fait un... Yeah, not too bad. It's good. Uh, busy, busy, lots to do. I'm still on wireframes where I should really be implementing already, but that's cool. Um, I'm just trying to decide in terms of font size because we want to do like small, medium, large. Um, and I'm already on 52 for my menu, so... It's quite big. 
I just can't remember what the the standard sizes are. Um, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Go away. Um, Thirty-six, fifty-two, yeah, thirty-six. So we're doing PC only anyway, but So we could do 28 seems so small. Oh, well, let's do let's do 36. When oh, that's that's so small. I guess I guess we can do What's the take on, on doing medium font size by default? Is that better? To do to propose like small, medium, large and to do medium by default? And we say 52 is medium. Recommend maximum scaled text size upon launch. So you start with max. Okay. But what what would max be? Yeah, we don't have time to do first time user setup. That's why I'm thinking maybe we just go for medium and then in the settings we give the option to go small 36 and then large which would be what do we do for large do we do like 72 i mean it doesn't look great but it works yeah yeah no worries Yeah, I guess that can work. Bon, faut, faut centrer correctement, mais dans an engine, it will be centered properly. Um, okay. In requirement for PC. Oh, merde. Uh, medium 52 pixel default when entering the game. That's what you see on my waveframes right now. And then large. Uh, we'll do 72 pixels. Yes, I did! We had so much fun with uh, Silent and Altar yesterday. It was so cool, we played for the four hours. It was it was really fun. I did a one top one and then four top four. Did you? Did you play?
cool. Did you have fun? Oh, that's cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hello, what's the law looking like? Opening scene, blank screen with dialogue, time for another day of deliveries. Cutscene of straight, no, no, no. Okay, cool. Um, no, that's cool. Like the wind is so hard to master. I don't. I don't know if we're so, if we're allowed to talk about those things here, but <laughs> there's a there's a lot of people that <clears throat> actually streamed the game yesterday, which is really, really bad. Um, okay, cool, let's do that. So let's try those two fonts before I actually <clears throat> move on to something else because this is taking too long now. So I can try... Um, I can try Rowdy's... Which looks quite cool. I actually really, really like that little eye thing. It's a bit fancy, but it looks cool. Okay, and then what was the last one? Londrina. A bit, maybe a bit too... Cartoony, but let's see. And technically, we're not allowed to out ourselves as related devs, true or devs. <laughs> <laughs> Denying we've been a rebellion at all, that's true. Yeah, we don't work there. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so let's try this one. Laundrina. But yeah, no, it was it was really, really good fun. Okay. Share that. Up. What's the theme this year? It's built to scale. So we're doing a climbing game. <laughs> Trop marrant, ça virox. Elle a cru que t'étais anglais ou quoi Ok, donc whilst we're working on this, um, so we're missing an iteration of this. So... Qu'est-ce qu'on fait 
because we need one that says retry. So we now have seven buttons, which is pretty shit. Uh, but what we could potentially do then is shuffle things around and put the main menu one at the bottom. And then you want settings here, how to play next to it. Then we got the difficulty and select level. And then we got resume and retry. I mean, that's not too bad. Well, let me skip. It's not. It's not aligned properly. We got twenty-four, 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 thirty-two. <laughs> Knew it. Come closer. Merci beaucoup Virox pour ton resub. 38 mois. Non mais tu te rends compte 38 mois. C'est quoi ce bordel Merci beaucoup. Merci énormément. Plus tard je l'entends parler en français à sa collègue en français. Je lui dis que je suis français mais ouais elle a cru que j'étais anglais. J'ai qu'une idée pourquoi putain. <rire> Wii U. Yeah, I think that looks okay. I'm wondering if they're too spaced out. They're, it's not very well balanced anymore. I'd say maybe... I don't know, maybe we do more like... 48. That might look a bit better. Uh, can I have the middle, please? Okay, let's do this properly then. C'est peut-être mieux, non Je pense que c'est mieux balancé, comme ça. Et puis, nous faisons quelque chose comme... Je ne sais pas, peut-être un peu plus de 48. Ouais, ça fait un moment, mais attends, mais tu sais que là, en septembre, ça va être les 4 ans de la chaîne, tu te rends compte Et toi, tu es là depuis jour 2, un truc comme ça. Ok, bon. I think that's pretty good. Uh, so let's just try something we can do. A simple, uh, small default and then large and try that. Uh, so in small, we said we were gonna do 36. Okay. Okay, and then in large, we said we were gonna do 72. Voilà. Okay, and so that means that if I go in here and do 
Uh, but I need to change the... Fuck. <laughs> so annoying. It doesn't apply to the actual what I've written on the thing, but... I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, I can't do uh, one for all, that's so annoying. And then if we do large... Not too bad. You can only play, you can't do anything else. <laughs> okay. Bon. I think, I think that's good. We're, we're gonna go for this. Shit. Uh, one second. Uh... Voilà. Parfait. Uh, ah oui, non. Et du coup, on peut faire... Uh... How to play is in a hover state. Melman. Ok. Cool. Bon bah ça me paraît pas mal cette affaire. Ok donc pause is done. We'll just need some assets to do this but we'll do that later. Uh, ok. Très bien. So what... Uh, what's next? Euh, je vais juste mettre un petit... Euh... Screenshot. Voilà. Là, on va mettre... Ça. Voilà. Euh, ok. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait d'abord On va faire ça avec l'avant. Ok, donc l'idée, uh, the idea, we want a screen where you can select the level. And then also play the cinematic that is the cutscene that's linked to that level from that uh, uh, from that level. The production, yeah, it's um, Jazz, my mentee is doing production. And she's doing great. There's so many things to do, but it's cool. Um, okay, so I think the idea is that we take the same buttons again, but we do something like... But we do something like this. Properly, obviously. Um, and then we write like level one or level two. We do big tiles basically. Like almost square, but not completely square. And then underneath this, we put the same butter, the same button here, and we say play cutscene. And we stay really, really, really simple with this, I think. Since I've been reusing that button everywhere, like I've been reusing it here as well. Um. Yeah, 
Um... I just wanted to. Doma, 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 doma. <rire> ah bah merci beaucoup euh, chez Jean Pet pour le raid. Bonjour, bienvenue à vous. Installez-vous les raiders. J'espère que vous allez bien. Installez-vous, installez-vous. Ici on est sur une game jam. J'espère que vous avez passé un bon stream. Ah mais c'est Arcand, mais t'as changé de nom Salut Madi Nubi Ça va Arcand Bah ça va, pour l'instant on, euh, on est en plein, en plein wireframing, on est, on est un peu à la bourre, mais écoute, euh, écoute ça va. Euh, on n'est on est pas trop mal. Alors, on va retourner dans Illustrator, mais en vrai je peux peut-être reprendre ce machin, il faudrait juste que je le... D'ailleurs, ça serait bien que je le que je le sauvegarde celui-là. Square. Ah bah ben, je suis désolée pour toi, Mandy, mais j'espère que tu passeras un bon moment ici. On est en pleine game jam, donc. Euh... Je fais, du, je fais du UX UI euh, et on est sur un thème, euh, c'est Built to Scale, donc on est en train de bosser sur un jeu d'escalade. De, euh, voilà. Euh, donc là, je suis en train de. Je suis sur le point de, de me battre avec Illustrator, voilà, parce que je, je suis très très nulle. Je ne sais pas du tout m'en servir, donc euh, c'est donc pure expérimentation. Euh, donc on peut potentiellement faire un clone de square et l'appeler rectangle rectangle boum euh, on part sur du 260 et là on dit on le bouge un petit peu et on le, on le fait un tout petit peu plus. En vrai, en vrai. Ça me paraît pas mal. Hein. Ça marche. Bah écoute, je suis contente pour toi. J'espère que tout va bien en tout cas. Et euh, que t'as passé un bon stream. J'aimerais bien faire un jeu, mais la motivation arrive et repart peu de temps après. Bah, c'est compliqué parce que hein, faire un jeu, c'est long, en fait. Ça demande énormément de, de temps et de ressources et d'énergie. Mais c'est pour ça que les game jams, c'est euh, une, euh, une bonne façon d'expérimenter et tout, et, euh, et de bien, euh, bien s'amuser, quoi. Voilà, je me demande juste si on ferait pas juste vite fait... Peut-être un... Un trait là. Ouais, ça me paraît pas mal. On est bien là, non Il fait quoi 156. Ça aurait été pas mal de, de choper ce machin et de le prendre avec, mais... Euh... Voilà 
Très bien. Euh, très bien, très bien. On va le bouger au centre, voilà. Euh, ok. On va faire un petit export en, euh, en SVG parce que euh, c'est plus simple pour Photoshop. Ok, euh, et du coup, on l'ouvre là-dessus. Très bien, et on va juste le colorier comme il faut. C'est très rudimentaire hein, ce que je fais, mais, euh, mais écoutez, euh, écoutez, ça marche. Merde. Hop, euh, alors. Anyone with proper Photoshop skill in, in the chat, please do not judge me. Stay quiet. Thanks. C'est même un peu gros. Hein. We're doing 420. For... No, 480 is too big. Is it? I don't know how we scale that for when we have more than three levels, though, but. Maybe that's too big. Maybe we go for that. It's probably best because if this is going to be full screen, like it doesn't need to be that big. We don't need to have this so big, by the way. I'll uh, I'll play around in engine for sizes and stuff. I think. Uh, okay, so if we do this... Uh, let's make it a component. Okay, so this is now a... Rectangle? Sure. Uh, as default, we want... Some... Uh... I'm realizing it's not the same color here and here. Doesn't matter. 
Whatever. Um... Merci beaucoup pour le follow Sanji, merci beaucoup, bienvenue à toi, j'espère que tu vas bien. Donc voilà, on fait ça, et du coup... Cette chanson me stresse. Oh. Voilà. Actually. Voilà. Um, with your hover version, hold highlighted, ver uh, highlighted. Is that what I did for this? Hover state. Fine. Uh, comment j'ai fait? Ah oui. Very simply. I don't know what the color was exactly, but. Is it just an overlay? How did I do it? Je l'ai pas sauvegardé, bien sûr. I didn't, I didn't save that one. Well done, moi. That looks... That looks about right. Fine. Uh, if I do this, it's not gonna work, is it? No. <laughs> of course not. Actually, wouldn't be a bad thing to do something like that. Um, it's the most cuffed design I've ever done, I think, but I don't really have time to do anything better than this. Um, <laughs> no, but if I had proper time, like, I would just do it properly and um, I don't so we're not we're n no one judges okay uh 
Okay, we're gonna do 96, I think, make, would make sense. Wait, am I, why am I dread? Okay. Why is this... Why is the height weird? Oh, wait, what? Ah, it's because... I didn't change it on this one. better. It's the high speed game jam work for yeah it is. I mean reusing the same assets for everything is like proper consistency but it's not the best but we'll be we'll see. To be fair it's also the first time I ever used Illustrator and I'm I'm pretty proud of my buttons if I have to say. So whatever I'm using them everywhere. Uh, so we'll do this and we'll put that in hover. It honestly, it's so intimidating. I absolutely hate it. And but I was just like, I don't really want to just do boxes. For once, I actually want to have something that's a bit nicer than just boxes. And so yeah, just spent way too much time doing that button so that's why i'm using it everywhere now <laughs> but what that means is that i didn't do it properly so i'm gonna have to do image swaps or i guess overly coloring in unity but yeah it's it's not great it, it's not yeah, it's not textured, it's not like really buildable in engine, but yeah. So that will have to do. Um, okay, so we do this and so the guys wanted to have a play button under to be able to just play the cinematic of the level. So I guess I guess what we can do then is do this. What do we do? Twenty four. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. What that's not going to work with is... It's going to look awful. So the other option that we have in that case is We can get one of the artists to create one that looks better. Uh, 
The more I look at them, the more I hate them. Um, but it's just a placeholder, so make a choice. This one. Uh, am I making a new variable? Oh, it's too large. We do this, and then we make it 48 by 48. And then, so that's centered. So wait, we make it, it's 36 from, I can't read because I'm absolutely fucking blind. Okay, 36, 36, 36. And then from here, we make this 36 as well. And so if we end up making this 72, this works. Yeah, let's do this. Something like that. Potentially play with the position of the icon. Uh, but let's do this. I think that's good enough. Uh, so we duplicate this three times. Wait, let's take that one in. Voilà. En vrai, c'est pas trop dégueu, quoi. Where's the middle of the screen? It's here. So no, we probably want to do something like that. Ninety-six looks pretty good. And then I'd imagine if there is more then we do kind of like a scrolling screen where you can actually see the other ones under i think that works let's do this uh so that's the pose menu No, it's not. It is not the pose menu. It's the select level. No, because I forget that I'm not on PC. Nice, okay, uh, good. Good progress. Okay, um, next, setting screens. So, uh, I have a rough idea of what I'm doing in terms of settings that we want. So these, a text scaling with a three point slider. 
a colorblind contrast mode, which is going to be... I'm just going to call it contrast mode, I think, just because we're going to try and avoid um, red and greens on the UI and try and keep it pretty straightforward, but we'll add a toggle for contrast where basically what that will do is enable um, like a border on the pieces. So Um, so if we look at these pieces, they don't have any borders, so the contrast might be a bit complicated against the background. So what we're going to do is add a toggle that can enable uh, a border around these. Yeah, that's, that's something I've requested. <laughs> I said, I'm down to do the game jam. However, my condition is that we design it with accessibility in mind. Um, so it's just simple things, just like text scaling and contrasts, like the two things that we really want to be doing. Um, it's like, yeah, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, but it needs to be done. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so a contrast mode, uh, which is going to be a toggle. So we need a, a three point slider, a toggle. We need a volume slider. Um, we need a toggle for sound effects. Oh no, is it a slider? It's, the, it's a slider as well. Uh, music slider. Uh, resolution is going to be a uh, carousel and screen is going to be a carousel. Cool, so we have four states to do. Three point slider, toggle, slider and carousel. So I have a good idea of how I can do the sliders and the toggle. I want to reuse this basically. So a little bit like what I've done here, where I've made it square. So you reuse that square one, but super small. And that being the thing that you move. So we can start a new, uh, a new component. Uh, and I do this. Of course not. Why not? Uh, so we're going to make it a square because it. Yep. <laughs> because it wasn't. And then we're going to make this. What happens if I do 48 by 48? What are we doing in terms of. I mean, it works. I don't think I want to spend too much time kind of rescaling it properly. I think I think that works. It just gives like a drop shadow effect that you can just like. Uh, 
Okay, fine. How do I do this? There's no way. Merde. And this is, this is really, really, <laughs> really rudimentary use of Illustrator here. Honestly, like, Adobe really suck in making their products consistent. There's not two products that use the same shortcut for zooming in and out. It's so annoying. Let's do it this. Let's do it that way. Yeah, between XD and Photoshop. And this is even different in Illustrator. For Illustrator, it's option. Mouse wheel. For Photoshop, it's comment. It's... No, not even that. Oh, no, it's the same. It's option as well. And XD is command. So annoying. Uh, okay, so let's extract this as... SVG, I don't even know if it's the if it's the best way of doing this, but for now it works for me. So uh square small. Okay, cool. Into Photoshop for coloring. Wait, what? Where did that come from? Wait, it's not in here. What the hell is Photoshop doing with my thing? Ah, oh, fuck it. Um, mm, it's fine. No. Uh, let's do it the same way as this one. Where's the eraser? Well, yeah. <laughs> right. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Is that gonna fuck everything up? It's still ugly. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Fine. 
Yeah, that will do. Oh, no, we, we go straight to this dark one. Okay, cool. Um, Perfect. Okay, so we got a hopefully a little bit more scalable one here I changed my HDMI cable it's not this it's the um, it's the HDMI switch that's fucked okay that looks good that looks perfect. Okay, cool. So we want a we want a three point slider. So uh, to do this, we're gonna do this. Mm, I cannot even want to go a bit further than this. We do this and then Something like that. And then that slides here. Maybe something like that. Does that look meh? Um, that was such a random height. Maybe something more like that then? Yeah, that's probably better. We don't have to do it that long. We can do 240. That's not too bad.
Let me do a little bit of drop shadow. Not sure about those circles, but I don't really I can't really think about anything else. Cause the other option that we have otherwise is to do more something like that instead. Yeah, something... Yeah, it's better than... It's be I agree. Than the ellipses. So on the... But I don't have to have rounded corners. I don't really have rounded corners anywhere. The only place where I have slightly rounded corners is here. In this back plate. So it doesn't have to be completely rounded. I think... I think I could get away with doing something like this. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. I think I think if we stay straight, probably more adapted with it fits better. So something like that, maybe? I kind of want to make them even, like, more contrasty. Just because I feel like otherwise... Yeah, I'm not too sure either about the end. I agree. Or... We do it. No. <laughs> we do it like this instead. That clear enough? I feel like it's not. I don't like it. Where am I? I'm looking for something. This. Uh, I need... Yeah, so I can do this, so basically, I can have... I can have a slider that's simple like this. 
with no points, right? So that's that's my volume slider, basically. I like it. I think it looks nice. But I need one with that indicates that it's a three-point slider. So... Uh, yeah, so people do it that way with this separate kind of yeah, but that's not that's not how I want to do it. Yeah, just a smaller square. like this and then just this in the center and nothing on the sides I guess that works Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay, so I have this and then I need to indicate somewhere what each of those options are. So, so I'm going to have on the left, I'm going to have the name... How did I do it on... Um... Oh no, wait. That's not... What did I do? Oh yeah, I had it on top. Uh, but I was moving with arrows. I didn't have any sliders? Oh yeah, I did, but they were like that. Okay, so I could potentially do it above the slider. So, something where... Because I could do it on the sides. Wait, we don't want that. We want. 
we could have it here. And so when you slide, that changes to medium. And then when you do it here, that says large. And then for a normal thing, it can be a percentage. I like the idea of having it on top, but that means that my rows need to be really, really big. Ça marche, Rembo, des bisous. Merci beaucoup d'être passé. That looks so cool. Wow, that's so cool. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, on the left or on the right, because I'm thinking. Because on the left, I'm going to have the name of the option. You see what I mean? That light looks weird. They have it under. Above. No, it's um... Well, I mean, font sizes, I got my three font size, I got small. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah, thing yeah. is for font size, yeah, it's a three point slider. I wonder if um, you put like a little T in the, or a little F in, in the rock. And yeah. And you drag, the F gets bigger, depending on what the font size is. So you don't need a label then. Or, or the actual handle on the slider gets bigger. Ooh, I actually really like that idea. So we go... So that's 48, and then we go to 52. Well, technically, this one is 36. If we go by the actual font size, because that could be fun to do yeah. that. Okay, I don't know where the start is, but it's not. Okay, it's fine. And then this one again then gets 72. So something like that. Yeah, that, could be cool. that could be cool. So when you move it, it actually like on release it grows bigger. No, no, as you drag. As you drag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that scales up basically. Yeah. <laughs> could be cool. Don't have to go there, but just for I like the idea. 
I really like the idea. I'm gonna need a space for a label somewhere for the other sliders anyway, but I really like the idea. I think that's amazing. I think that's a great idea. I mean, you're gonna need a label to say font size somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. So font size is gonna be on the left anyway, okay. but for the other labels, like for the other settings, um, so I have a toggle on so i need to say on off somewhere um i guess i can put it on yeah so so i need a label there for the toggles and then for the volume slider on, off for toggle? Label? no maybe we just change the color or something usually the for like a toggle when it's on the background of the yeah the, the pill goes like colored yeah and then when it's off it goes gray yeah so off is yeah i'll do gray, that on is like a color yeah, it's just because I can't really rely on color alone for accessibility. Yeah. It's supposed to have that's other true. things. So that's why writing it will be easier, but... Mm. I could also... Yeah. And then the volume slider needs to have a... No, it doesn't need to have a percentage, do I? Does it? It can just slide. It doesn't need to tell you exactly what percentage you're at. So that's fine. And then the carousel can have the label in between the arrows. So that's okay. So yeah, it's just on ho on, on and off. Yeah, there's a, there must be a better way you can do that. Yeah. Than yeah. I'm going to try and... Have a look at some references for toggles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, I really like the uh, the growing size things. I think it's I think it's great. I think it's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. So why is it, oh yeah, there we go, middle, that is very smart, so that's cool, so that's our three point slider, then our, so I think I can make that a component, okay, um, and then, so what I can do is, that's the default, and then, medium is, this, and then, Large is this. Cool. That is that is cool. Hello, Perdit Bear. Bienvenue à toi. Uh, okay. Donc ça c'est pas mal. Three three point slider sorted. Uh, duplicate. Duplicate. No. Voilà. Et make that a component which is going to be called slider. And then in that slider we just want the middle one which is going to go here okay donc ça c'est un slider normal so we got three point slider slider um And then Oh yeah, we can do like um Oh 
Okay, so that's that's good. Uh, and then for a toggle, we can do something. Um, where basically we actually make this bigger. I think that might be quite big to do it that way, but let's see. Uh, what's the size of this? 52... On met... 4... Uh, calculation. In intense calculation going on in my head. So 52 times 2... Plus... 3 times 4. 12. We want 116. So that's kind of like this that's on or off and then on like this and then what we can do it looks a bit, it's a bit big just wondering if we want to go for the smaller size like 36 that might be better it's still it's still clickable 36 times 2 plus 12 84 84 and then uh, 36 plus 8 44 something like that so we stay consistent with what we have and then on off yeah let's do this uh we do that so four and then on top of this we do when it's off we do Oh. And then we make it 36. I can't really do bigger than that, to be fair. Voila. And then when it's on. We do and that doesn't really work. Okay, so let's not do any writing. We can create our own stuff. So we can do Can do something like this, and then okay. And when it's on, we do what size did I do? Sixteen. We do it like this with slightly rounded corners. And then that means that we don't rely on color alone. 
So that is good for accessibility. And then we do this. Toggle. Yeah. Necessarily know. I have to Google mm. if the circle means off and the slip means on. What um, do you think? Um, cross think and the tick? Cross and the tick would be nice, but if you like hand draw them in like the same weight as the border of the rock, so it looks like it's engraved in the rock, you know, like the cross and the tick. Yeah. Yes. That could be cool. And then it's like fits with the art style as well, then. Yeah, because that's a little bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, I, don't, I, I would have to Google that person. Yeah. Do, you, do we like the size of it though, right? Yeah, it, I think it looks great other than that. It's on brand, it's like, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, okay, it cool. Nice. So we just need like a hand drawn kind of like X and like tick. Yeah, you could even maybe do it with your mouse. Just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't do it. Uh, Maybe I can actually. I don't know in XD if I can do it. Um, But yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah. But we, yeah. I think I think that looks good, but then yeah, cool. yeah, you're the best. Yeah. UI designer, by the way. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I can't do it with that. I mean, we're not we're not we're not going for um, weird shapes like this, but maybe we are actually. No, we're not. We don't have any language in the. Um, uh, I don't have my iPad here. Question con, Exil n'avait pas été abandonné. Non, ça a été. Euh, non, non, il est toujours en développement. Euh, je crois pas. Je sais que Adobe a racheté Figma, mais euh, mais euh, mais sinon euh, mais sinon non, je ne crois pas. Update to UI managed to make the inventory work with both mouse and gamepad. The green square is controlling the gamepad selection with the D-pad. And you can spawn the object with the south button. Cool. The object is moved with the stick. Just need to hide the cursor when the controller is in use. Perfect. Yeah, the pen tool just... Pff, it doesn't work really good like this, but that's fine. I can... Um, I can do like <laughs> No, it's fine. I'm going to do something on the iPad, I think. Or or I go crazy and I try and master Illustrator one more time. But I don't know how that's gonna work. Uh, wild. Uh, can do something like that. And then... A bit wonky. Okay, we don't want to go too crazy. That doesn't really work. 
No, I fucked it. How did it work fine on the other one? But this one's not working as I want. I got extra points that just don't work. Anyways, that's bullshit. We're not doing this. Um, I'll draw something on the iPad in a bit. Uh, for now, I'm going to very simply go absolutely mental and uh, do something like this. Wow. So much creativity. Incredible. Ah, I'm not the right one. Huh? Okay, a bit too big, maybe. Voila! <laughs> Wild! <laughs> Absolutely mental. Okay, cool. We'll we'll do that for now and then and then I'll get I'll get something a little bit more on brand later. Uh, okay, so we're toggling. Uh, default is off. And then on is the other state where this happens. Cool. So we got off, on. Wee! Nice. Okay. Uh, and then we need a carousel. Um, Uh, cool. Uh, we need a carousel. So what do we need in the carousel? We need screen resolutions, we said, and then, and then screen mode, like full screen, windowed, was it borderless windowed? Uh, so we need resolution and then oh yeah but maybe we just do this full screen or windowed I guess that's fine something like that but we're gonna do a carousel for it I think, because it makes more sense. Don't really understand why they've got two different things. So we'll do. How do we do a carousel? Um, well, you know what? I think I'm going to go mental and duplicate stuff. Absolutely crazy. 
Okay, so we do, I think... Uh, something where... We do this, basically. Where these... become... triangles! Something like that? I think that looks fine. Again, those triangles are... Um, those arrows, are, I'll draw them properly later. And then in the middle, we write uh, full screen. In a completely different color, like this one. And then what I'll do is that I'll make these containers sizing to content so that if, because by default we said we were going to do 52. So that means that I need to potentially need to make this a tiny bit bigger because that doesn't look great. Come on, XD. sure about this what happened what have I done oh yeah What what do we think? Nothing matches, but that's fine. I'm feeling the beautiful pink reuse of that growth. You don't even want to know. I created one asset and it's everywhere in the game. <laughs> uh, I have to. I don't have time to create more. Um, but what I'm thinking is ask one of the artists to actually change the this to maybe a um directional panel you know with like arrows with arrows for the for the start screen so that 
I kind of like, you know, have a little bit of a, of a change. Um, Okay, what do we think? And I can do... Maybe the arrows and text a tiny bit smaller. Yeah, it's just that this is my default font size, so it will be affected by whatever the player uses. Or chooses. So I don't know. Is that really a bad thing if whatever is in the carousels don't is not affected by what font size you choose, I think. Okay, text look good, more the arrows, okay. Yes. In that case, I can definitely do that. I hate that I can't use the mouse wheel to change the numbers. That's a... Uh, that's a... Uh, a habit that I got from work, that. More like this? Yeah, that was so much better. Did you mean the background of the arrows as well? Or or just the arrow icons? Just the arrows. Like this? Cool, and then... Oh shit. Fuck. Uh, okay, let's do that on this one as well. 16. Okay, cool. We got something uh, good. Option two, I will just change to windowed. Oh, wait. Back to center. Voila. I think that looks nice. Cool. Uh, we we're doing um we're doing uh keyboard and mouse and gamepad uh, support as well. So that's really good. Okay, we got our four uh, components for the window screen, uh, the setting screen. So let's do this. 
as a screen. These titles are so not good, but... It's fine. Um, okay. Do you like my save zone, Adrian? Just to make sure as a reminder that I'm not going out of it. <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. So settings, uh, how am I going to do this? So my components are on dark backplates. I don't know if I want something floating. decided if this is the way to go yet but uh, we're gonna try something uh, okay cool so font size For these, we need a line left. Where's my list? Text scaling. Font size or, f or text size? What do we think? And then contrast mode. Okay, wait, I did say a line left. Did that not work? Text size, yeah. I still think I probably need uh, a tiny I think just because it makes it clearer. Uh, 
and then by oh yeah but by default it's super small and you it's medium but it's fine it doesn't matter um we can we can do the medium variable here um okay screen resolution and then in the delete that's like that and put that carousel in there okay I'm gonna have to do this properly okay so for whatever reason ah but that's because Hmm, that is because if this one is on default, it's aligned, but if it's on medium, it's not aligned anymore. So, we need to modify that thing. I don't think we need the backplate for this one. I think it looks weird. Plus 18. So basically, when this one's Oh yeah, and that's fine. It's just the first one that we we want to be. I think that's okay. Well, technically, it looks closer to. Of course, it's a different size. But it doesn't matter, does it? No, I think I think what we want 
install this because that looks centered so we just need this to be 258 Oh, which has changed everywhere. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, but that means that this is not centered anymore. What the hell? What am I doing? I'm going crazy. Um... That's what that needs to be, basically. And that one needs to go center here. Okay, and I think... No, that looks awful. I think that's gonna have to be like this, but the thing is you just can't tell and that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And then hopefully that way. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, cool. So if we do yeah 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 that looks nice okay cool so that's good um and then does that mean my slide my other sliders probably need to be the same size because that looks a bit weird and disjointed and then i think this doesn't need the back the back plate. I think that looks weird with it. So let's try without. So what was the size of that one? 294. So this one can be 294 and be moved to this. Even if we see the drop shadow, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. I guess we can always move the drop shadow to be the other way in engine if that's really bothering. Okay, cool. So let's do that. Uh, and then in this one, in the default state, let's remove this, change the color to default and do that I think I think that'll look better voila I think we got something What what's the name display? Display mode. And then for this one, we just call it um, call 
Was it? 1920. Is it like this? Oh, mid I don't know how I don't know that. Okay. Okay. I think I think that looks okay. We might need a back plate because Yeah, we're going to need a back plate. Uh but that's fine. We can do something Can do something like this. Uh, this is a bit of an arbitrary. Let's do it. Uh... I guess we do something like that. Super simple, but I think that works. What do we think? I don't know how that works with gamepad. We need uh, we need a selected state. So I guess we do something like with another backplate. That, that would increase the... Uh, do we actually go all the way there?
That way that accommodates for bigger, bigger font sizes if we need to. And doesn't look weird. Something like that, maybe? Let's maybe change that white to be the same grey as this. This is the same grey as the background, but that's okay. That way it increases contrast as well, which is not too bad. Yeah, I think that, that looks good. Uh, okay. Cool. Bon, on aura bien avancé. Hein. Uh, ok. Screenshot that. And pause that. We potentially need some sort of like reset to default button thing. But Okay. Cool. Uh, I guess I guess that's good. Uh, Okay, cool. Uh, I think that's it for today. Je vais, uh, I'm gonna go for food and get some food, uh, take a bit of a break, and then and then move on to implementing an engine, which scares the shit out of me. Um, I think I think that's good. Got, we've been live for three hours. Thank you. Um, I hope you enjoyed that stream. C'était un petit peu différent. It was really different than what we usually do, but that was good fun. Um, and yeah, well, enjoy it. Uh, and then see you on the battlefield for everyone who's playing um, Project Archipelago tonight. Um, voilà. Je vous fais des bisous. Merci, euh, merci d'avoir été là. Uh, oh yeah, definitely playing tonight. Yeah, Altar, Sal, Ingenious, and I are doing like such a great group. It's it's real good fun. Um, <laughs> top one, of course. <laughs> well, I'm always the first one to die anyway, so. It's, it's it's really funny. I sh I shouldn't be, but I am. True. <laughs> I know. I know it's true. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna send you to Tonyob because he's live. So um, let's do that. On va chez Tonyob. Je fais plein de bisous. Uh, je suis pas sûr uh, de streamer demain uh, ni mardi, mais je vous tiens au courant sur le Discord de toute façon. Voilà, je fais plein de bisous. Prenez soin de vous. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, take care. And I will see you sometime next week. Bye bye.